Hey guys, so I'm going to do a review today on Between the Lines by Jodi Pico and Samantha Van Weir. And Jodi Pico, um, she's a pretty famous um, adult author. Um, she, she's had a couple of her movies turned into, like, a couple of her books turned into movies. Sorry, I can't talk, apparently. Um, so, but yeah, she's the author of um, My Sister's Keeper. Um, what else? Like, 19 Minutes. Um. The Tenth Circle, which I saw in the movie, I haven't read the book, but, um, The Pact, just a bunch of different books, and she decided to write a young adult novel with her daughter, so, thus comes between the lines. And, um, there's, um, basically three stories told in this book, that they all kind of, like, surround each other. So the first is, um, the actual fairy tale itself, which starts the picture on the left, and black ink. Then, you go to Oliver, who is basically, I will explain in that part in a minute, um, who's in blue, and then Delilah, who is in green. So, um, the story itself, like the black part, is a fairy tale. It is, um, basically your, you know, modern, not modern, but like, standard, um, fairy tale. It's Prince, 16 years old, someone comes, my daughter's a princess, I need help saving her. He goes on a quest to save her. Fights a dragon and one of them fight the outwits because his promised his mother he can't fight. So um you know I'm gonna get girl the end and believe me this is told to you in the first like, two pages. So I am not spoiling anything. And then you have Oliver, who is the actor who plays Prince Oliver. Um and he really badly wants to get out of this story. Um he just tried everything, he, but there's like this like film line he can't get through. Um, and he's 16, like he is in the book. Um, what else? He wants out of there. Um, and he always tries to change the story a little bit with like the setting. And the only person that's ever noticed is Delilah. And Delilah, she lives in the real world, you know, our world. Um, She's obsessed with this book, and she thinks it's because she can relate to Oliver, the character in the story. Um, and then when she realizes that, oh, this Oliver is an actor, but he's still pretty much the same person, not as being Prince. They start to grow a relationship, because somehow they can talk between each other. Um, so, I'm like... And everyone's worried about her because she's reading a fairy tale meant for like eight year olds. Um, so basically, Oliver wants out, Delilah wants him out, and they realize they need to do this. Like, they need to get their butt going because this is going to be hard because of that film layer. And it's in so many people's minds. Not so many because it was, um, it was one-time book deal. I'm like, I don't know what it would be like if it was, like, a mass production book. Like, would, like, there be a different set of actors? Or, I'm like, yeah, this is seriously how I think through these things. But, um, I think I, I'm like, I don't know what I give this on Goodreads. Personally, I'd give this four stars, maybe three and a half. Because, and I'll explain this to you, I feel like it was prolonged a little bit. And Oliver started getting annoying, and then I'm just like, screw him, I want Edgar. And then, what happens at the end of the book? I figure out what that is. Um, so, I'm just like, oh. Okay. Woohoo. Yeah. So it was very anticlimactic, the ending, I think. Um, because they had tried so many times. And you just give up. And you kind of don't want to believe the ending. And I, I didn't say anything, you know. Anyways, um, so 
I don't know. I really liked the writing style. It didn't bore me a lot at all. I mean, like, I also have, like, the attention span of, like, a three-year-old. Um, yes, that has been proven because I'm more impatient than a three-year-old. Um, so, it could have just been me getting bored with the story a little bit because I feel like it was about, like, 20 pages too long. Um, but it's a good story. I mean, like, I'm not, like, bashing it or anything. I mean, it's just I got kind of annoyed with all of her kids. He was just like, I need you, Delilah! And then he does something. Um, the Grasscola, who is the villain, who is not a villain outside of the story because it's an actor. That kind of just made me really mad and made Delilah mad, too. And I feel like I'm talking about real people and I'm insane. Isn't that lucky? Well, um, I'm like, so, it was, and I like how it has the pictures. I mean, I really like the pictures. I'm like, seriously, that is the main reason I bought this book. Which I did buy when we broke up, too. And I'm pleasantly surprised that this was a lot better than that. Um, I'm like, but then it just has, like, little black pictures throughout it, too. Um, and I feel like I should explain the setting of the book more than I did the actual book. But, um, anyways, um, so that's it. I will talk to you guys later, and have a good day.